I am fed up of all of my items breaking on me. So that's why I'm going to build the coolest villager breeder you have ever seen. And if you do end up enjoying the video, please consider subscribing. It really does help out the channel. But anyway, hope you enjoy. So for us to be able to get this build on the road, we're going to need a looting free sword. And the reason why we're going to need a looting free sword, that's because we need some black dye. Because on this build, which I probably am going to build over there, we need a lot. But I mean a lot of black concrete. And the only way to actually get black dye is from ink sacks. And luckily I do have quite a decent amount of squids here. But if I just try to kill them one by one with a normal sword, it's going to take forever. So right now I'm probably just going to AFK down in our XP farm, get some XP going and Hopefully we can get a diamond sword with looting free on it. And actually before we do that, let's actually enchant this right now to refresh it. So sweeping edge, get rid of that. And what do we get? Knock back two. All right, let's do that again as well. All right, so I got a sharpness four on here right now. So I'm going to go down there and get some levels and then come back up here and enchant it. And hopefully we'll get looting free with it. We really need to go to the end just so we can actually get a proper XP farm going because this is taking forever. All right, so I have enough levels now to actually enchant to level 30. So what are we going to get? Sharpness four and sweeping edge three. That isn't actually too bad. So I'm actually going to get rid of this one. And what we're going to get with this? Looting two. We don't want looting two. Oh. And what we're going to get? Knock back two. All right. This is going to be annoying. I'm probably going to just get back to you guys once I get looting three. And then I'm just going to go down here and hunt a bunch of squid. <laughs> yeah, boy. That was scary. All right, so I did actually get a looting free sword, but it does have Bane of Arp. All right, so I did get a looting free sword, but it does have Bane of Arp pods on it. So I do actually want to get rid of that. But luckily, I did get my sharpness for sweeping edge sword as well. So if we combine it, it is going to be very expensive, but we do get a very good sword. So let's do that. There we go. Perfect. So now we've got a very good sword to be able to go and hunt some squid. And let's test it out right now real quick. Alright, so I've got six ink sacks actually. That is very good. So it won't actually take that long to get a bunch of ink sacks. So I'm actually quite pleased with that. So what I'm going to do right now is actually just sleep the night quickly and go and farm a bit more glass because we're going to need a decent amount as well for this build. Actually, there's a big problem. It's cool that I want to go get sand, but the problem is we have no coal. There's only about 12 in that furnace right there. So I'm actually have to go mining and it's actually kind of a good thing because I did want to actually finally upgrade my armor to diamond. So now what I'm going to do actually is save up all of this coal, craft it into some torches and go mining for a little bit. And hopefully when I come back, I'll have loads and loads of diamonds. Oh yeah, and coal is actually what we're going for. Whoops, silly me. And also, guys, we are very close to 100,000 subscribers. So if you do end up enjoying the video, please don't forget to leave a little subscribe and also a little like because it really does help out the channel. Anyway, uh, let's get on with the mining and hopefully we'll be able to get loads of diamonds soon. Ah, there we go. Finally a big cave. I've been looking for ages. But I am finding quite a decent amount of coal. Oh, my screen just lagged there, but 64, 64, and 56. Oh, and including this vein right here. Hey, diamonds! Yes, finally. Oh, wow. That is so lucky. <laughs> I'm just trying to mine over to here to these diamonds, and I found some others right here. Oh, there's a mine shaft right here. Look at that. That's really cool. I have to go check this out a little bit. Oh, a minecart. Oh, that is a spider spawner. And that is a pretty stinky one, if you ask me, though. I don't even need any of this. Oh, another chest. Sharp this one. Yeah, what are these chests? They're so bad. Hopefully, we can find some good ones pretty soon. Oh, there's an actual spider spawner here. Oh, no. This has destroyed the chests. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, I really wanted a name tag. I really do like my name tags. <laughs> oh, another chest. What's inside? Wow. Oh, a name tag. Yes, perfect. There we go. That's what I wanted. Give me that. Thank you very much. All right, I think we're going to head back home now because we do have 15 diamonds, unless I do find some more inside this abandoned mine shaft. Oh, there we go. Here's some more diamonds. Perfect. Oh, that scared me so much. Jesus Christ. Oh, that was so scary. All right, yeah, we're getting out of here now. Oh, wow, that looks so cool when we're running back to our house. Look at this. Oh, if I can not miss that jump. Yeah, that looks so cool. I'm actually very pleased with the placement of this. Like, we have to head back home right now to store all our stuff away. We get to see our beautiful build from last episode. 
All right, we actually came back with quite a decent amount. So I got three and a half stacks pretty much of coal or coal ore. So now all I need to do is actually get a fortune free pickaxe. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. What I'm going to do is go down here, AFK, get a bunch of XP and try to either get a fortune two pickaxe or a fortune three. And we also did get 17 diamond ore. So that is going to be very good once we get a fortune free pickaxe. All right, I have a bunch of levels now. So let's see what we can get. I'm breaking free and fortune two. Well, there we go. <laughs> that was perfect. Oh, I don't know if I want to do another one. I think I might. I think, you know what? We're going to risk it. So we're going to actually get rid of the enchant on this one. There we go. And what we're going to get now? Efficiency four. Let's give that a go. Oh, dang it. All right, let's get rid of this. Third time's a charm. Efficiency four again. Oh, all right. Well, it looks like I have to go and AFK again. Fantastic. Actually, before I do that, I'm also going to go and head back to the desert biome over there and uh, go and farm a bunch and a bunch of sand again because we're going to need a lot of concrete to actually build our build. This is Rake's editor speaking. Rake did not record this part of the gameplay. Good job, Rake. So I will try my best to demonstrate what I imagine Rake was doing. Don't judge me, PLS. Before we actually go and start mining some sand, I do want to use up all of these diamonds. So as you can tell, I have no armor right now. That's because I took it off because I want to craft some diamond armor. So before I actually mine all of this, guys, leave your little guesses in the comment section below and try to guess how many diamonds we're going to get with a fortune free pickaxe and 17 diamond ore. There we have it. We are full diamond up now. That is pretty insane i'm so pleased episode four and we're fully armored up all right so now i'm going to head over to the desert farm a bunch more sand you guys can have another little replay mod there and uh, after that i'm going to kill a few more squid and then we'll get to building uh oh yeah guys uh, i forgot i actually also need to go to the never get more gravel all right so i have completed the breeder that is just underneath uh, this big beam right here so this is where we're going to start our ufo and this is it, uh, the beam where it's actually sucking up all of the villagers in this uh, magnificent village here that I 100% built myself. So yeah, if you just come down here, there is a villager breeder. Uh, hopefully no other villagers fell down here. Because if not, it's going to cause some trouble. Alright, so now I am stuck down here. So I need to actually go back over here so we can actually go through the beam. So the baby villagers will just breed pretty much. Well, these guys will breed some baby villagers. And then the baby villagers will just crawl through here and fall down here. After that, they get pushed all the way over to here and go flying all the way up to the top here because the aliens are sucking them up. It does take a bit of time to get up there, but eventually you do make it up here. Oh, there is another one up here. Um, <clears throat> uh, what are you doing up here, sir? There's no aliens yet. Oh, you want to jump off? Oh, I should have said earlier. Uh, I don't know where he is, though. He might have landed in the water, to be honest. <laughs> All right, so now pretty much what I'm going to do is just make this a lot wider. I have also mined a bunch of clay. Oh, I was wondering why I was lagging, but I did turn up my render distance to see how close we were to our beautiful ship over there. So yeah, I'm pretty much just going to go around this like this and just keep building upwards just slowly. So I'm going to go out like three and then go up one block and then do like three again, then up one block and then eventually make a beautiful circle which is going to be the main part of the build. Alright, so guys, this build is actually a lot harder than our hot air balloon that's over that way. Because of the look at the size of this thing, it's going to be absolutely huge. And I've already gone through like most of my uh, concrete. So now I'm going to have to go and farm up a bunch more concrete. So I'm not going to uh, show you this, but yeah, I'm going to go back into the nether, get a bunch more gravel and also go back to the desert. But I am also going to have to repair my tools beforehand because I don't have a lot left on this one. So rip my XP and rip my diamonds. All right. So since the last actual clip, I have done a lot of work. I even added a pyramid on the top and what you can see right there is just a bit of detail that I've already added onto one side 
And the reason why is because I've completely forgot to put replay mod on. So <laughs> after I realized that I completely stopped and then uh, now I'm going to do all of it in replay mod so that you guys can actually enjoy some of the building. But before we do that, we're going to do the comment of the day today. I know it's not the end of the episode, but still, I kind of want to change it up and just put it randomly through the video now. Because I have been working on this build for a very long time now. This has taken me multiple days to build. It is like very, very big and very, very hard. That's what she said. <laughs> Oh, and also guys, if you're wondering, I have almost no diamonds left again because I have to keep upgrading or repairing my tools, as I should say. So anyway, right now we're going to head downstairs and do the comment of the day. Oh, I really need to get a water elevator up in this building because it's been so long since I built it now and I still haven't got a water elevator. But anyway, today's comment of the day is going to Donny VDS, and this comment says, Very good video, man. Keep it up. Maybe you can start trading with villagers next episode so you can beat the Ender Dragon faster. Well, funny enough, that's what we're doing this episode, so that is a perfect comment for the episode. And if you guys want to be on the comment of the wall, feel free to leave a nice little comment in the comment section below. But anyway, let's get back to building. Alright, so I've finally made it back up here and it does take a bit of time to be honest to get all the way back up here. I got like uh, the water stream and then I have a few ladders to get all the way to the top here. But yeah, as you can see, I did add a bit of detail. I do think though, I do need to go to the nether and add a strip of glowstone on there so it looks really cool at night time. But apart from that, right now what we're going to do is try to copy this on this side here and that side over there and the other side over there. And uh, hopefully that won't take too long. All right, I have gone ahead and finished up all of these little extensions. I don't know what we should actually call these, but yes, I have completed all four of them now. And now what I want to do is add a little bit more detail because it is a bit flat here. So I'm going to add some sort of like little tiny dome type things or little pillars with some spikes on top because I think it will give it a bit more height on the flat part here. And I'm going to do that on all four sides because I think it'll look a lot nicer. <laughs> But yeah, I'm going to pretty much do a circle here. I don't know how far I am from there or from there, to be honest, but I'll have to count it for the other parts. But yeah, I also have about four stacks of concrete, of white concrete anyway, so I think we can get somewhere with this. So I don't know really what I want to do with this. I have no idea. I saw like someone that built one of these on Google and I'm kind of basing it off that. So hopefully it will end up nice in the end. Alright, so it does kind of look a little bit weird, but hopefully from afar it will look very nice because, let's be honest, who's going to be very close to see the detail of this? The best store this is going to look is from far away. But yeah, I am looking very forward to actually jumping down there and going to check it out from all the way over there. But for now, I am just going to repeat that on all four sides and then uh, we should be pretty much done with the build. Ah, what a beautiful day outside. Uh-oh, there are some aliens attacking us. <laughs> But, yeah. but yes, as you can tell guys, I have finished the build and I am very, very pleased with it. It took forever. It's probably one of my hardest builds that I've ever built. But right now, I think we should get a better view and head up there so we can actually see it from above. But before we do that, I need to head down and get some levels because I want to fully enchant my diamond armor. Alright, so since the last time we came up here to actually enchant, we did get... What did we get again? Blast protection 4, unbreaking 3 and unbreaking 3. So now let's see what we can get for our boots. Fire protection. Nah, we don't want that. And protection free. You know what? Let's just go with that. There we go. And I'm breaking free. Not too bad, actually. And for these, fire protection. 
Do you know what? Let's refresh it quickly because I do not like that enchant at all. And now we actually get Blast Protection 4. So what else? Ah, oh, just Blast Protection 4. So yes, this is the build. I did add some little details underneath in like alien language. So if any of you guys do understand it, please leave it in the comments below the translation because uh, some people would like to know what's written. But yes, I did also add a layer of glowstone that goes all the way around and that cost me a lot of glowstone. And that is why my pickaxe is so low HP because that go and mine a lot. But I mean a lot of glowstone. But yeah, um, underneath here, it is quite dark. So there is quite a lot of zombies that have spawned. And it, they've pretty much killed every single villager that's inside the village. Or as I should say, the aliens actually just uh, uh, abducted all of the villagers. And now they are living inside the UFO. <laughs> But yes, that's going to be it for today's episode. So if you did end up enjoying, please leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.